Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay guys, I have a huge, huge, huge haul for you guys today. I can't, you guys, I don't even know what I done done, but like I got so much stuff everywhere. I had to break out my cutting board to add some extra extra counter space I just laid it across my my sink to add in some extra space I've got like all of this right here so let's go ahead and get into this video okay guys do you see what I mean do you see what I mean y'all all of this okay we're gonna start on this side and hopefully I don't forget anything pray for me guys all right, I'm gonna start back this way. So I've got mixed fruit. It's sliced mango, peach. It's sliced strawberry, mango, um, peach, and pineapple. And this is what I use for my smoothies. Um, and then I have a bag over here. This is just strawberry and banana blend. I use that for my strawberry banana smoothies. Okay, we've got ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, vanilla caramel. And then uh, back here we have some, oh my goodness you guys, I don't even know how I'm going to get this done. Pray for me. Okay. Uh, we're going to sit that down on the floor. <laughs> okay, so I have some cooked Jonah crab claw and arm. Yes, I'm planning on doing some more um, gumbo pretty soon, some more seafood gumbo. I've got some little bites. I've got some Hawaiian hot dog buns back here. We love sweet Hawaiian rolls and these hot dog buns, they're good. Um, I have some more ice cream. This is peanut butter dipped. Um, peanut butter, vanilla with peanut butter, and peanut butter with peanut butter. That's a lot of peanut butter. <clears throat> okay, and then I have some more of these protein meal bars. My fiance loved these that we had got him last time, so he, now he's going to try these strawberry ones. So, they're really good, and he forgets to eat. So, and then I've got this Reese's. This is probably more for me than anybody else. <laughs> and then I got some shrimp. You guys know I love my seafood. And then right here, I've got some breast strips and i've got some chicken breast tenderloins i love chicken breast tenderloins and then right here you guys i have some new york strip steak what i was looking for last time found it and then i also got um some sirloin tender steak and then some ground beef because i love my ground beef my tacos and then my fiance got him some Brookside dark chocolate. I love the acai with blueberry. And he got the pomegranate flavor. Flavor. I'm probably going to be dipping into those behind his back. <laughs> um, I got just a small thing of flour because I don't really fry too much. I'll fry chicken every once in a blue moon or some pork chops. But it's more. this is going to be mostly for my pancakes because I actually make pancakes from scratch. Yes, I do. And then, guys, I had to get my ice waters. Um, I've got pink grapefruit. I've got orange mango. I've got black raspberry, peach nectarine, cherry limeade, another pink grapefruit, um, a kiwi strawberry, and then it just pretty much doubles. Um, got some Sweet Baby Ray's Hawaiian barbecue sauce. I got some flour tortillas, two of them, because we love tacos. And then I got these for my fiance. These are burritos, egg, sausage, and cheese. Just so he can make them and go out to out the door. Because he forgets to eat, you guys. If I don't feed him, like, he won't eat. Like, seriously. Y'all have no idea how bad it is. So, I'm going to pop those in the microwave and send him on his way. Um, <clears throat> I got some biscuits. This one is the buttermilk. And then this one is the butter. I've got some ranch, cheddar, and bacon. And this is really good. Um, my fiance, my daughter, loves that one. I really am not a ranch person. I'm more of an Italian person. And then you guys know I had to get my chips. I got sour cream and onion. 
I've got queso, and then of course, I got the extra hot. It wouldn't be me if I didn't get hot. And then, we found that um, they have um, their own brand of um, Pringles, and we have never seen them before, so I don't know if they're new or what, but we've got pizza, we've got barbecue, cheddar cheese, and sour cream and onion, and guys, these was only a dollar, so got those and then i've got some chopped green onions and some chopped yellow onions because i usually cut my own my onions but they make me cry a lot and i'm sick of that and then i've got me some avocado for my sandwiches and my burgers and then you guys remember these from my last haul um i got these last time at um publix but i found these at walmart and they're much cheaper so bolt house they're good i got another strawberry banana um this one is for my fiance is watermelon mint lemonade sea boost is for me amazing mango is for me and the mocha cappuccino that's for my fiance as well and we really like these and i've used these in my smoothies and yes they are so good so i highly recommend them and i'm a foodie so if i recommend it you know it's good and this is new. It's um, from uh, me. I've never tried this before. It's Xanarain Cilantro Lime. Let me know if you guys have tried it before. I've never tried it. But um, I do make a lot of tacos. And you can see it's got shrimp tacos on there. So my fiance wants to try that as a side. So I said, why not? And then, of course, I had to get my rice and pasta sides. So I've got herb and butter. I've never had this one before. So I'm going to let you guys know how it tastes. I've got two of those. I've got a Spanish rice. I've got a mushroom flavor. I've never had the mushroom flavor either, so I'm going to let you guys know how that tastes. Cheesy cheddar, I know is good. Um, I got Spanish rice, another one. Um, I've got a taco rice, and I use those for when I'm doing tacos or enchiladas or something. And then I've got another creamy pesto because I love these with my, um, with my shrimps, you guys. So I've got two more of those. And then I've got butter flavor. So, yes, I love, love, love those. Um, and then over here, I got some uh, <clears throat> center cut chops. They're pork, pork chops. And then I've got some boneless thin chops. Back here, I have some cuties. And then I'm trying these for the first time. They're simple suppers, chillin' fixins, Creole fixins, and Jalamba jambalaya fixings and all you have to do is just add the meat so i figured that that'll be good for you know one day where i just don't feel like cooking or don't want to be bothered with doing a, a big meal it can be a nice hearty meal without me having to put all the work into it you know it's halfway done for me i just got to do the meat so i'm definitely gonna let you guys know how these taste and if they taste good your girl gonna give it a thumbs up you know she will so i got this great value butter flavored spray um, I love these beef smokes and pasta calabasa. I love those. And then I got some spaghetti, <clears throat> spaghetti noodles because I'm, my baby has been asking me to do some spaghetti. So I'm going to do some. So I've got this and then I also like the veggie spaghetti too. The, um, veggie pasta noodles. I like those. Um, got some milk. And then over here, your girl had to get her ginger ale. You know it. And then Pepsi Max. Well, is this Pepsi? Yes, Pepsi Max is for my fiance. I got some blueberry waffles for when I don't feel like making pancakes from scratch. And then over here, you guys, got a cake. It is lemon strawberry cake. And I'm dying to know how it tastes. Now, we barely buy baked goods in the store since my fiance works at a legit bakery we hardly you know but when we see something good in the store well we see something that looks good in the store we opted to try it so we're gonna try it and i'll let you guys know how that tastes and then i got this it's um three color pepper and onion strips and i love these because i use these for my tacos or my fajitas or my stir fries and i don't have to like sit there and chop up everything because everything is already sliced up for me so 
I love that. Um, I got me some taco sauce for my tacos. And then I have all these um, taco sauces and diced tacos. I mean, tomato sauces and diced tomatoes. Because my fiance makes, he makes spaghetti sauce from scratch. So, we're going to have him make that. We've got just the regular one. And then we've got the sweet onion, the garlic. And then green pepper, celery, and onion. I love the basil, garlic, and oregano, though. I love that. So we have a couple of things of those. And then I've got my cheese. Because you guys know I got me some tortilla chips that I need to eat. So I need to give me some cheese. And then I got these for my baby from when she comes home from school. She's never had these before. But I used to eat these as a kid. And so I'm hoping that she likes them. If not, you know, I just got two, so she can just try them. This one is spaghetti and meatballs, and this one is mini beef ravioli and meatballs. So I just figured she could try it, and if she don't like it, it's no harm. No harm, no foul. Um, Italian green beans. I got me some mustard. I just got a small one because I'm really the only one that eats mustard. <clears throat> and then I seen this in the store. This hunt sauce and it's resealable, reusable. And I was like, oh, I need that because whenever I'm doing my tacos, <clears throat> I never, I use this for the taste and I never use the whole thing. So I'm end up putting some in a Tupperware bowl, saving it for later. And I know I have some other stuff back here too. Bear with me, guys. Oh, I do. Okay. And then this is my non food items. I needed this for my Swiffer and I needed some more gel for my, um, my toilet and then I just had to get some more deep cleaning my pads Whew, that was a lot you guys like yeah it may not look like a lot to y'all but I'm still going through this stuff like making sure I got everything for y'all because I just feel like this was just so much but I believe I showed you guys everything Look at all this. And then the ice creams, I had to put on the floor. I had to put the ice creams on the floor because I ran out of space. Ugh. Oh, but yep, guys, this is my grocery haul. And I got all this at Walmart. And this was all just a little over 200. I'm going to say like 260 or something like that. And really, I think what just got me is the meat. Because, you know, like, the meat's by the pound and all that. So, I think what really just got me is the meat. Because everything else don't seem too expensive. But, you know, steaks by themselves are not cheap. I don't really care what cut you get. Steak really ain't too cheap. So, yep. This is my grocery haul. And I love it. Yeah. And I love it. I'm sorry. I'm shaking the camera. Uh, but there we go, guys. Your girl didn't done it again. And guess what? I got to put this stuff away. <laughs> I got to put all this stuff away. I'm crying inside. Guys, that is it for my grocery haul. That was kind of a big one for me. Because now I got to put all of it away. <laughs> But I want to share something with you guys. Okay, I'm going to share something with you guys because your girl used to work at Walmart. Yeah, you didn't know? I used to work at Walmart. You know how Walmart be having them, them slow cashiers? No offense to anyone that works at Walmart. And you might be a slow cashier, no offense. But your girl was a speedy. I was speedy Gonzalez on that thing. People would come to my line and be like, oh my God, you were so fast. I'm like, yes, I know you want to get out of here. I don't like being over here in these long lines either. So your girl was Speedy Gonzalez, and I'm like, get them out of there. And they would literally come back looking for this face so they can get in and out. And whenever they see me, and even if I did have a long line, they would stay in my line, guys. Just because they knew they was going to get in and out. And they did. Yeah. Anyway. I want to share something with you guys. A lot of customers don't know that this bad boy right here is a savings catcher. Yes, a lot of you guys don't know that. And I meant to mention it in my last video because this is important. Like this little thing right here 
is money. A lot of people go shopping around two, three, four, five different stores, shopping those deals, getting trying to get things cheaper. I do that too sometimes depending on if I feel like dealing with this. <clears throat> but I have no problem going to Walmart and if it's extra, I don't have no problem spending that because you go to Walmart dot com right or either you get the walmart app and you just type in savings catchers they used to have it in the you know and at the bottom under all that mumbo jumbo they used to have click you can savings catchers and you click on that but i don't know if it's still there because now i have the app so you can get the walmart app or you just go to walmart.com type in savings catchers you type in your little tc your tc barcode and if you if, if Walmart prices wasn't cheaper, then you they give you the money back. And you decide whether you wanted to go. It used to be a Bluebird. Up until February, they would uh, you could buy a Bluebird card and have the money put to Bluebird. And then swipe that Bluebird. You don't even have to put anything on it. I mean, you don't have to put um, no money on it. You don't have to put a pin code or anything. You just swipe that Bluebird. And it would take whatever was on there. You wouldn't even have to say, oh, just $10, you know, because you're scared it wouldn't go through. You just swipe it, and then whatever it was, it would just take it off, <clears throat> and then they'll tell you the rest. But I think now they have it to where they just, you put your bank information, or either they um, give you a Walmart e-gift card for it, something like that. They'll tell you everything that they need to know when you're setting this up. Or you can even just walk into Walmart and ask, hey, how does the same catchers work? But if you are one of those few people that like to save money and you try to go on to two and three stores, especially just for like a few pennies, I'm telling you, savings catchers. I one time, one time... Like, every time I go to the store, I do it, and I, I will put money on a card, and it would, add, it would add up. Like, at one time, i say $5. One time, it'd be $3. Anyways, it added all the way up. And one time, I needed some groceries because, you know, your girl, I was a single mama with living with my mama. Hey, mom. And taking care of my nephews and my baby. And we needed some groceries. And guess what? On my bluebird that I have put up, because I put it up so I can save money on it. I put it up. And guess how much we had? We had $70. Yeah. And $70 may not seem like a lot, but when you need just something quick to eat, it's, it's it, it can go very far. It can get you something to drink. It can get you some water. It can get you some juice. And it can get you a nice meal because I got some pork chops over here for $4.95. I got some chicken over there for like $8. So, you feel me? $70 can go a lot a long way. So don't, a lot of people sleep on these too and they throw their receipts. A lot of people be sleeping on these codes. Don't sleep on this barcode because this barcode can save you some money. It can save you some money and <clears throat> it gives you money back. Just saying. It's a big help because a lot of people don't know about the savings catchers and they're like oh all these has that cheaper i'm gonna go to all these then i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna go here no if wa if you go to walmart and let's say let's say my rice sides my rice sides right here is cheaper at food depot so whatever i didn't like they ain't nice or something i would get that few cents back on my card because it's cheaper somewhere else so if it's cheaper elsewhere you use this savings catcher I'm sorry I got it upside down but yeah guys sorry like I said a lot of people be sleeping on these um you don't want to sleep on this this is this is money right here this is cash flow um it can save you money give you money like Walmart is is sometimes Walmart get on my nerves just because they be having long at long lines and uh, it, it, it doesn't be no need for it. Like, they be having over 20 cashiers in there and only have two of them open at a time. Like, where would we do that at? That, that annoys me. That's what annoys me about Walmart. But I will say that they do look after they, they customers as far as helping them save money. So, I do that, I do that all the time, often. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because... You know, your girl got a lot of stuff to put away over here, so I got to get to putting away these groceries, especially this meat. We, we don't want this meat to get too unthawed, and then I got that juice and stuff all over the place. Like, we don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video.
If you guys liked it, please go ahead and give give girl a thumbs up. If you are new, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button down there. And also tap that bell so you get some notifications whenever your girl put up a new video. And um, what else? I guess that's about it. I love you guys so much. You have a beautiful and blessed day. I know I will. I think it's supposed to rain later on tonight. So I definitely want to get all this stuff put away. Get my family fed so we can get in the bed before the raining and all that hits. But I will see you guys in my next video. You guys have a good night. And I'll see you later. Bye.